everyone and welcome back and happy new year. I know I've already done two vlogs this year so far but this is my first sit down video. I'm back in New York as you can see back in my apartment and today is kind of my first filming day and I'm really excited to bring you this video. To the left of me I have loads of my favorite things from 2017 and I saw a lot of YouTubers do this kind of video and I just thought it was such a good idea to kind of like section off your favorite things from the past year and share them with you. So there's a big mix of things there's hair beauty skincare fashion designer lots of bits and just things that really stood out to me last year whether it was a brand or an outfit or a moisturizer or a lipstick just things that I absolutely adored so I'll go through everything there is quite a bit here but really really good stuff that I think you'll love too Okay, so I'm going to start with all the products as such and then I'll move on to kind of the fashion and accessories. But the first thing I want to talk about is skincare. I have two things I want to show you. They're both from the same brand. They're both from Image Skincare and one is their moisturizer. It's the Prevention Plus Daily Matte Moisturizer. I use this every single day and it is literally the best moisturizer I've ever used. I use it every morning and main reasons I love it is that it dries in really fast and um, it almost acts as like a primer even though it's not a primer but my foundation goes on so nice over it and I just love it and it has SPF in it as well and then the other product from them that I could not live without and I'd say I've used it most days in 2017 is their Ageless Total Pure Hyaluronic Filler yeah, it's called filler serum. This is basically the best serum out there in my opinion. I put this on every night before my nightly moisturizer and it just plumps out my skin like nothing I've ever used before. It's completely natural. It's not obviously like surgical, Botox, anything. It's just something that you can put on every night to kind of give your skin that more plump feeling. And I know loads of products claim to do this and I've tried quite a bit because I have lines under my eyes or lines on my forehead and you know, as we get older we all get them but I genuinely think this really works it just I can see the difference straight away so the two of these have been like standout skincare products for me this year I had really bad skin in 2016 and then it was 2017 last year where I kind of was able to fix it and genuinely like image skincare is a brand that I love this is not sponsored nothing in this video is sponsored it's just I think when you find a skincare brand especially that works for you you are like the happiest person <laughs> in the world so if any of you are having skin issues or you really just want to kind of up your skincare game this year, I can't recommend Image enough. They're just fantastic. Okay, and then the next product is Tan. And if you follow me a lot, you already know what the answer to this is. But it's the Be Perfect 10 Second Tan. And this really was the year that I found the tan that works for me. Um, obviously, as you can see, I'm redhead. I'm quite pale. I have that typical Irish skin. So for me, it's really hard to find that perfect tan and I've used so many in the past um, Bondi Sands, I use Sally Hinson, like loads of different ones and I've loved a lot of them but there's always kind of been something that was wrong with them but Be Perfect really is one that I love. Um, it's one of my top products that I found last year and if you are like me, if you have similar skin tone, if you're pale or you want something just really natural and kind of subtle definitely give this okay. a go. And then I couldn't not mention a hair product. Um, I love hair products. I love trialing new ones and testing them and just always kind of looking for new ones that suit my hair. I definitely change up my shampoo and conditioner quite a lot. Um, during the winter I want like hydrating ones and then during the summer just like different reasons if I want my hair to be shiny or whatever it is if I'm in the sun a lot. So I'm always open to new things but there's one hair product that Year in, year out, I absolutely adore. I think I found this in 2016, but all throughout 2017, it was like a top favorite. And it's the Kerastase hair oil. It's the, I never know the name, it's the Elixir Ultimate um, hair oil. And basically, this stuff is kind of pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but it lasts for so long. So if you do invest into this in the new year, in 2018, you'll be kind of handing over the money being like, oh, this is kind of pricey for a hair oil, will even make a difference? But bear in mind it lasts for so long because you only put the tiniest bit on your like top of your fingers, you rub it in and then you just spruce it into your hair like this, literally kind of massage it almost to the bottoms. Never put it on the top because if you put it on the top, like I, I kind of only go from like here down because if you put it up higher, it'll make your hair greasy. But this stuff saves me. I have a bit on today because 
I curled my hair this morning and it just felt a little bit frizzy as I was going to film the video so I literally just popped a little bit of this in and it just kind of calms it down makes it smell so nice and just makes it kind of feel I don't know more like luscious or if that's the right word so yeah I absolutely love it and every year this is my favorite Okay, and then on to beauty products, so makeup products. Um, I did a video recently, I think it was maybe like two months ago, about my top 10 beauty products, and a lot of the ones I'm about to show you are from that video. It's the same ones, I absolutely adore them. I wore them so much this year, and will be wearing them so much next year. But just in case you didn't see that, I'll link it below. Um, but here are the kind of, how many do I have? five that I absolutely loved last year. Okay, so the first one I have in my hand is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I just discovered this last year through my sister Kaylin. She told me for so long I should be wearing it. I don't know why I didn't listen to her because it's absolutely amazing. I wasn't really a powder girl before I found this and now I can't go even one day without it. It just sets everything so nice and genuinely makes my makeup last throughout the whole day. Okay, the next one will not be any surprise if you're a long time follower. It's the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. I'd say 90% of the videos that I do, this is the foundation that I'm wearing. I absolutely swear by it. I just think it's the best for coverage. Um, it looks great in photos, in videos. I just feel really confident in it. Like it is quite a heavy foundation. So if you don't like full coverage foundation, you won't like this one, but I do. I like full coverage foundation. I like foundation that lasts me the whole day and this one does not budge. So can't wait to wear this all next year again. <laughs> Okay, the next thing is from one of my favorite brands, Bobbi Brown. You'll have seen during Vlogmas that I teamed up with them um, to get like my makeup done in Brown Thomas when I was home. And I found loads of new products that I love, but there's one product belong to them that I love year in, year out. I found this in 2016 as well. I think it was 2016, yeah. And I wore this nearly every day last year. I love it, it's their Bobbi Brown lip gloss. It's called High Shimmer Lip Gloss and I get the shade Bare Sparkle 15. This is just so nice. It tastes nice and it gives a really nice gloss without being kind of too over the top or in your face and I just love it. So if you're looking for a lip gloss, look for this one definitely. And then finally on the beauty side of things, there are two products from one brand, which were both new discoveries for me last year. I'm a little bit safe when it comes to makeup. Um, I kind of know the brands I love and I am always trying new bits and pieces, but I kind of tend to go back to my like favorite brands a lot. But Stila is a brand that I found last year and I discovered these two. Um, the first is their all day waterproof liquid eyeliner. This stuff is amazing. If you're like me and you're not the most talented <laughs> at doing a liquid eyeliner for above your eye and you still kind of are learning, this is the best thing you will ever use. Trust me, it's amazing. It's so easy to use. It's like a pen. So you literally just put it on top of your eye like this and it just is so easy to use. It's still, I'm still not perfect at doing it. I don't think I ever will be. I'm constantly trying to get better, but this is helping me a lot. And then the second thing from them, is something that I don't wear every day. I've actually never showed this in a video yet, I don't think, but I love this for nights out. And it basically, it's their Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And I have the gold color. It's called Kitten Karma. And this is so cool. I wear it mostly on nights out or going to an event. It wouldn't really be a daytime um, eyeshadow that I would use, but it's really cool for if you have something special or an occasion. It's a liquid eyeshadow, so it's really easy to apply. I'll just kind of put it like a little bit on my lid and then I'll put a darker color in the corner and people always compliment me when I wear this so it's definitely one of my favorites from last year. Okay so that's kind of everything from the beauty product side of things, tan, hair, makeup, all that stuff and then before I go on to the fashion and accessory favorites. Um, I want to tell you two random things. Okay, so firstly is my favorite book and I actually don't have it with me. I gave it to, I think it was my dad to read and it's in Ireland. I was looking for it before I filmed this video and I can't find it and then I remember that I don't have it anymore. It's in Ireland. So I'll just tell you what it is. I'll put up a picture on the screen, but basically it is called Relentless and by a long shot, it was the best book I read um, last year. It just... 
I don't know what it is about that book. It just made me look at every single thing different. It's probably the most harsh book I've ever read. Um, if you know me, you'll know I'm really into business and like kind of um, motivational books. They're the ones I read like most often. And I'm always looking for new ones and new authors and um, just kind of new, fresh, things to read and you will know that Gary Vaynerchuk is like one of my favorite people to follow in regards to that stuff and I love all his books but this book Relentless blew his out of the water this year <laughs> and that's kind of a bold statement um but I absolutely loved it I read it when I was in Barbados which is kind of random that I was relaxing on the beach and I was reading this like crazy harsh book but it just got me so motivated for the end of last year and I actually got a lot done between Barbados and Christmas and I'm putting it down to that book. It's a real kind of hard hitting one. It just kind of says things out straight and I just couldn't recommend it enough and it's a great book to read now at the kind of beginning of a year. I think it will just shift your mindset so much. So I'll leave a link down below if you do want to get that too. And then the favorite place I travel to, this is kind of a tough one and there's two places I want to talk about. The first is Barbados. Um, I went there in September with Tommy and it really was just as beautiful as you'd imagine it to be. So calm, so chill, the people were so lovely and it's the perfect getaway um, if you do want that kind of holiday where you get to completely switch off. And I think with my job and with YouTube and social media, it's kind of hard to switch off and you're always thinking of filming something or taking a picture or whatever it is. And even that I was doing that there, I was still able to switch off, which I think is a very good sign of a place. So I absolutely loved that. And the second place that I loved, which is completely opposite to Barbados, was New Orleans. I absolutely loved that trip. We went there in November during Thanksgiving and such a fun place. And I watched that movie Girls Trip <laughs> on the plane back from Ireland this time. And it kind of reminded me because that was set there. And it's just such a fun place. So if you're in the US, and you haven't been before, definitely add it to your list. Okay, and then next it's time to talk about my favorite thing to talk about, accessories. I'm a big accessory person. I love bags, I love shoes, love watches. So I'm gonna talk through my favorites now. All right, first up is my favorite handbag last year. So the bag that stood out to me, the bag I reached for probably more than the other bags and just the bag I absolutely adore after the year and I know that I adore it. It's this, it's the Givenchy Antigona. I've talked about this in loads of different videos. It is such a great bag. I actually can't even describe to you how good this bag is. I've talked about other videos before and I've said that it's the one bag that I have. Um, I'm really into designer bags. That's where I love to invest my money into whenever I have some savings. But this is the one bag that has really like kept its value. I feel like I could probably sell this on in the morning and get close to the price that I paid for it. And I have this for I think two years now. It's in immaculate condition. I wear it so much, but whatever it is about the Givenchy leather, they make it so well. So if you are looking to invest into any bags this year or down the line, definitely keep this one in mind and just keep Givenchy in mind in general. I think that they make their bags so well and I just love this so much. <laughs> Okay, so that was the bag of the year and these are my shoes of the year. And if you watch Vlogmas, you'll know that these are only a recent purchase. I only bought my Manolos um, in December. So it's kind of a, you know, a big one that they've made my favorite shoes of the year, but I love these so much. Um, since I showed you them in the kind of reveal video, I have worn these every chance I've got. I absolutely adore them. I want them in every color now and I just know already that they're going to be a style of shoe that I'm going to keep investing into in different colors and maybe a flat version and if they have any new versions coming out. They're the black with the um, silver embellishment, the 115 um, millimeter heel height. They're really, really comfortable. I wore them on Christmas Day, I've worn them to an event, I've worn them to a dinner and I've been on my feet quite a bit wearing them and they genuinely haven't been that sore on me, all going well. <laughs> I'm probably still wearing them in but I think they should be um, okay after a few more wears, even better, even more comfortable. So yeah, definitely my shoe purchase of the year. And if you're a long time follower you'll know that when it comes to like jewellery and accessories, Watches are something that I wear every single day and it is always Clues watches and I actually work with Clues kind of on an ongoing basis for the last, I think it's about a year and a half now which is amazing but the thing is 
they were the watch brand that I wore before I worked with them. So it wasn't a case of like them getting in touch with me, sending me an email, hey, we want you to work on a paid basis. We want you to promote our watches, blah, blah, blah. It was more that they saw me tagging the photos on Instagram. So whenever I used to wear them, um, like I wasn't a collaboration. I used to just wear my clues watch every day and I tagged them on Instagram if I was doing an outfit picture. And they saw all the tags and saw that I loved the brand and that I was a fan. And then they got in touch with me and now we work together. So it really is like my dream collaboration. And I just love of my clues watches so much but there definitely is one that I wore more than all the others throughout the year and it is this one it's a black face with a gold strap and it's actually the first year that I've got more into the black face rather than the white face I'm wearing the white face one today and I also love that one definitely but I just really shocked myself I absolutely love the black face one now too I just think it's so kind of like expensive looking when you have it on and it goes with everything and I, this is definitely the one I've worn most so if you're looking to invest in a new watch or a new clues watch definitely have a look at this one I'll leave a link below all right and then last but definitely not least probably my favorite part of the whole thing is my favorite clothes and kind of fashion brands of the year and how I kind of did this like section off because I went through my whole wardrobe earlier this morning and I was like what were my favorite pieces throughout the year what were the best things I bought what were the most worn pieces like which brands did I absolutely adore last year and as I was looking through everything there were three brands three <laughs> there were three brands that definitely stood out to me and I'm I think like all of us like I, I don't just wear one brand all the time I love trying new brands and testing out new things and finding new kind of styles and designs and stuff but there are also definitely brands I keep going back to and these were three last year that stood out to me Okay, so first up is a brand you probably won't be shocked at, but it's Reese. Reese is a brand I go to for all my coats. They do the best coats and blazers, probably of all the brands I wear. They do it the best. Um, I wouldn't call them a high street brand. I feel like they're between high street and designer because they're not cheap. Reese is like not an inexpensive brand. Like these coats range from like 300 euro up to like 700 euro and it's definitely not cheap. But what I will say about Reese is that any coat I have from them, this one especially, I've had this for two years now, I wear it so much because the quality is so good and that's the thing about brands like Reese it's like yes you're paying a little bit extra than like Topshop or you know different high street brands but when it comes to coats that you know you're going to wear and wear and wear and you want good quality I cannot recommend Reese enough this is my green one from them they're both faux fur um, this is my green one it's a bit longer you have seen me wear this so much on my Instagram and even on YouTube and the vlogs I feel like I'm always wearing this any cold day here in New York because it's so warm and you're going to see me wearing it loads again this year it's like kind of a Hopefully you can see it in the camera, but it's kind of like an emerald green, I guess. I think this is definitely sold out. I've looked so many times on their site, but if I find any similar ones, I'll link it down below. And then the latest one I've added to my collection is this one from them. Um, I wore it traveling the last day. It was on my Instagram and it is so warm and cozy. It was lovely on the plane and it's kind of like a brownie pinky color. Not so much pink either, but it kind of has that like purpley pink tinge but it's more brown and it's so nice it's really nicely lined and yeah just such a good coat as well so they're the two from Reese that kind of stood out to me last year and it's definitely a brand I'm gonna keep investing into Okay, then the next brand is a brand that you'll have seen me wear so much as well throughout last year and it is River Island. So just like the Clue Swatch collaboration situation, River Island was kind of like that as well. So I've obviously worn them for years, like since I was 15 or 16 I've been shopping in River Island and last year we teamed up and I was able to work with them kind of on an ongoing basis as well. And it just made me realise how much I love the brand and I think as well how much you guys love the brand. And I think especially my American followers, a lot of you did know about River Island and you discovered it I think maybe through my Instagram and stuff this year and I just have so many good pieces <laughs> from them after the year so this I think is probably one of my favorites it's like an aviator biker jacket I was actually wearing it earlier today and put it on my Instagram and loads of you were asking about it pretty sure it's sold out um, but there are always kind of similar versions coming in so I'll find some for you and put them down below such a good piece to have in your wardrobe and definitely something that I'm happy that I finally kind of have a good one of um, then other pieces I wore 
from them that I think you all loved as well. Um, sorry for the random hangers. My wardrobe was chaos at the moment since I came back from Ireland. But it's this sweater dress. I love this so much. I wore it in New Orleans and here in New York. And it's just a really simple piece, but one that I'm really glad I have after the year. I also loved this blazer from them. Um, I wore this a good bit as well and I wore it back in Ireland over Christmas. A really kind of cool metallic blazer, great for nights out just to kind of spruce things up. And then the last kind of outfit from River Island that I think really stood out to me last year was this suit. I wore it to a Samsung event here in New York and I just loved it. I felt really kind of like dressed up but still cool in it. And it's just a blazer and pants set but the pants are kind of like collots. Um, and then the bottom of them have this little frill, so it's a really cool one. So I look out for some similar ones again, and I'll put it all below. And then finally, the last brand, which I just really love after the year two, is a brand called Fashion Bunker. It's actually an online website, and it stocks loads of different Australian brands. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that all of my big occasions, so like my birthday, different like weddings I went to, any big events, it's always one of their brands that I'm wearing. I just love them, I think they're great for events. So if you have an occasion coming up in this year, definitely go onto that website, it's really good. They have just really unusual pieces, but also pieces that are quite classic. So like anything that you buy on there, it's not really just a one-off piece. It can really be like worn again and like styled in different ways. I bought something from them for a wedding um, this year. It was a green skirt and top set and it was really nice together but I can also wear both pieces separately like throughout the year kind of more casually as well. So that was really good but I don't have that with me. It's actually in Ireland but I do have some other bits with me here that I think were the ones that kind of stood out to me. One was my birthday dress that I wore for my 26th birthday um, back in September and I just loved it. It's a really kind of like embellished at the front green. It has these frills and it was a really, really fun one to wear. I'll pop in a picture here so you can see and if this still is available, I'll put links down below too. I'm not fully sure, but I'll leave the link to the site anyway down below. And then last, but not least is one thing, one outfit that I wore for Fashion Week and it's from their site, it's from Keepsake. It's one of the brands that they have. My favorite brands from them on their site would be Cameo, Keepsake and Finders Keepers. Those three brands are definitely my favorite and this one's from Keepsake. So it's a top and a pants set. You might remember it from Fashion Week. I wore it in September. So this was the pants and it's kind of like open at the bottom as well, kind of like the River Island one. And then this top went with it. So kind of a little bit unusual for me, like wearing pink and floral. I'm more of like a plain <laughs> clothes girl usually, but I just really liked it. There was something about it that I loved. And again, I love that it's separate pieces because you can wear them separate. So even though it's a fancy statement outfit, kind of for an occasion, you can break it up and wear it in different ways. So I think this is actually set on the site, so I'll link it down below, just like everything else I can find. And that is everything. I hope that wasn't too long. I actually had a lot more than I anticipated, but when I was going through all my stuff, I realized that there were loads of things that I loved last year. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget there's a new schedule this year so instead of new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays like last year it's now Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and one video every week will be a vlog. At least one. There might be more vlogs some weeks but at least one video every week will be a vlog and then the other two will be kind of a mix of fashion, interiors, beauty, career, um, lifestyle, New York. I have so many ideas for this year and I actually just can't wait to get stuck in. I'm really excited. I know the new schedule will be more work but I know that it pay off and hopefully you'll really enjoy it as well so as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye